This is scary. I don't like being so near Gen Pop. It's fine. It's not like they're all waiting for an opportunity to kill us. I'm sure some of them are actually nice. Like this gentle giant here. Hello, sir. What brings you to the fence today? Just here to stab you if you get too close. Neat. Caleb, remind me not to stand too close to the fence. Will do. Oh, here's Romero. So what's up? You need another bag of hair? Yeah. No. We'll talk later. Same order, though. I hear you're the man to talk to about getting a cell phone. I am. But it'll cost you. Phone's a hundred. hundred dollars? That's no problem. <sighs> I got no use for cash. I want a hundred soups. Soups? Yeah, ramen. They're like a major currency in here. Really? That is very surprising. You can't smoke anymore, so ramen has replaced cigarettes. NPR did a big thing on it. I thought they sold ramen at the prison commissary. I don't want commissary soups, you stupid little bitch boy. Okay, that's fair. I deserve that. I want flavors you can only get on the outside. Chili, lime, shrimp, southwestern chicken, street flavors. Picante beef. Oh, that's my favorite. Get me picante beef, bitch boy. OK, so I just get some ramen, and then I get a cell phone. Prison is easy. You stood too close to the fence. Yeah, I know, Caleb. Thanks for coming down again. What's going on at work? Not much. I'm investigating a big time money launderer. Moves tons of cash under the table. It was stressful because the brass got involved. So there were a lot of eyes on the operation. But in the end, they gave us room to work. Well, sounds like it was a very successful operation. Here you go, bro. 105 picante beef. Great. I'll keep five packs for myself. We want me to do the rest. Thanks for the soups. Here's your cell phone. Thank you. And by the way, someone who's eaten a lot of ramen in his life, here's a tip. Leave a few noodles uncooked and then sprinkle them on top afterwards like a garnish. Gives you an extra little fun bonus crunch. <laughs> Saw you coming that time. Look who's got prison all figured out. No, he threw the ship. You can't do that. All right, there's Wilson. I'll go make him mad when he attacks me. You film it. Then afterwards, we'll meet up in the bathroom. OK, great. What are you going to do to get him angry? Well, I don't know him, so I'm not sure what buttons to push. But I'm sure if I try enough things, something will set him off. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Get back to your table. Yeah, you know I would, except for. Oh! oh my god, that's all it took? I told you to get back to your table! Oh god! Are you okay? Yeah. What hurts the most is knowing that prisoners are treated this way every day in our penal system. Also, he kicked me in the wiener a bunch. Mm. Show me the video. I'll send it to Charles until he got it anonymously, and then. Oh, oh my god, that's all it took? Caleb, is this it? Did you film yourself the whole time? OK, look, I've been in prison for 15 years. I'm not good with new technology. If you want somebody to lure a kid to a park using a Lycos chat room, I'm your man. Oh, look, just press this button and make it front facing. Come on, let's try it again. Hey, Wilson! Please tell me you were pointed in the right direction that time. Yes, but there was a different issue. Fiesta filter? I'm doing the best I can. Tell that to my wiener. I'm doing no, the No, don't really. Gosh. <laughs> OK. How'd you screw it up this time? I didn't. I got everything. I even zoomed in for some close-ups. Oh, thank god. I was so sure that something was going to go wrong. Hey there, Peralta. Oh, I'll take that phone now. <laughs> that was your first stint in solitaire. It was nothing. I held it together. Oh. Amy, when did you get here? You've come for my conjugal capabilities. You're looking real good, girl. Oop. Lost a booby. No matter. I'll just build another one. More mashed potatoes! Hey, hmm. I'm in a bind. I need your help. That's what friends are for. Well, friends might be a bit of a stretch. I mean, you're a cannibal that ate six people. Nine and a half. Yep, worse. Anyway, here are my options. A, I keep pestering Romero to tell me where the drugs are. He realizes I'm a snitch, and then he castrates me and kicks me to death. That's not great. What's option B? I back off Romero, never find out where the drugs are. The warden tells everyone I'm a snitch, and then Romero castrates me and kicks me to death. Mm. Both options sound... A little castrate yeah. yeah, that's what I keep bumping up against, too. Well, you know, whenever I'm backed into a corner, I just do what I do best. <laughs> I drive across country, forge a new identity, and then take a job as a camp counselor. Oh, my god. Caleb. You're a genius. I wouldn't say genius. The camp ran a pretty extensive background check. No, not that. Your past is a straight-up nightmare. But 
I need to do what I do best. Be a cop, work the case, and figure out where the drugs are on my own. Then you tell the warden, and the warden will bust Romero. And Romero won't think I'm a snitch, because he never told me where they are. All right, this is gonna be tough. I'm really gonna have to thread the needle. Oh, I got really good at threading needles. Back when you were making your skin suit, I know. Look, I like being friends with you, but you have to stop bringing that up. But we're friends. <laughs> Do you really think this is where Romero is dashing the drugs? I mean, it's a good idea. There's no cameras in here. What does Blizz look like? Like little white candies. Oh, I love candies. Many say to the point that it'll eventually kill me. Hey, I found something. Oh, twinsies. What is this? Melon baller? Wait a minute. Romero doesn't stash the drugs in here. He comes in here to make the Blizz balls. So he brings a brick of drugs into the shower without getting noticed? Yeah. Oh my god. He smuggles the blizz into the prison in the soap dish. No, in the soap. It's in the soap. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I get it. I did it. I cracked the case. <laughs> hey, you don't think you can get high from rubbing drugs on like your eyes and armpits and up under your B parts, can you? Whoop, you definitely can. Here it comes. Oh, okay. And you know what else I think? Are you listening? Huh? Are you, Mr. Warden? I think we should be able to decorate our own cells, don't you? I mean, choose our own wallpaper, laminated flooring, crown molding. Ooh, my friend Charles loves crown molding. He says if it doesn't have the crown, you got to vote it down. Are you on drugs? Yes, and you should too, you know? Get on my level, because quite frankly, we are not on the same wavelength at ag. At ag. Ag, that's weird. I can't say the word ag anymore. Yep, you've done a ton of blizz. Yes, blizz! That's why I'm here. Wait, why am I here? Blizz. Yes, Romero's smuggling the blizz into the prison as bars of soap. Interesting. Hey, that's good work. I know! I am the smartest man of ag time! Ag time! Ag time! Ag time! That was it. Ah! Oh man, I have a lot of energy. Wait, no. I'm exhausted. I wonder if I can touch the ceiling. <laughs> Peralta! <gasps> From Bargo. <sighs> what were you with that guard? Great question. Okay, Jake, don't freak out, just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. The warden was yelling at me. Are you on blizz? What? <laughs> what makes you think that? Because you just told us. Okay, Jake, don't freak out, just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. Yep, I am nips deep in blizz. Nice. <laughs> I was worried you were still a cop, but what kind of cop does that much meth? <laughs> well, no, no, not meth, blizz. Yeah, that's meth. We just call it blizz because meth has a bit of an image problem. Oh, oh my God, I guess I'm addicted to meth. No, I am not. I just love it and am consumed with the thought of doing it again. 